Hello and welcome back to Project Nigel. Not that I'm called Nigel, or indeed Project, or Mustard Fingers for that matter. I don't mind, you can call me what you like. First of all, what a pleasure it is to be here on such a lovely sunny day. Yeah, it actually feels like a treat. Can't beat a lovely brisk sunny day, except possibly a warm sunny day. It's not particularly nice freezing my knackers on. Okay, on with the show. Not show, nonsense. And now let me introduce you to Project Kurt. <laughs> yes, one of you guessed it. That's what it was going to be called. It was originally called <laughs> Goldie Horn. But I can't have a name like that down here at Project Mustard Land. No, 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 no. Rovers aren't girls, are they? They're men. They're all men. And they're British as well, which is the same thing. Back to Kurt. This lovely little Gold 25 is the 1.6 model. 1.6 IXL, I think. And inside it has leather seats, which is always nice to see. It also means having a cream coloured carpet or a sandstone coloured carpet, which means best to have a piece of cardboard on the floor to avoid any grotty feet marks. And you simply cannot have clean feet while walking around on this stuff. Now it all looks quite clean inside, which is a, a good start. Having no evidence of rice or mats living in there is always a very good start, I find. And on the outside, it does need a jolly good wash, actually. It's all covered in Rome film and salt. Looks almost like flour. I was about to be bunged in the deep fat fryer with the fish fingers. Curious feature. Every piece of glass seems to be etched with the uh, registration plate. And so do the lights. Never seen that before. Tyres are excellent all round. So far, so good. It's not without a couple of uh, marks here and there. Rust bubbles, lack of peel, a bit more rust just there. Scrape on the corner. But for a 20 year old car, very nice, very presentable. It's not quite 20, I think it's 19. I will get a better idea of the condition of this car and how good it's going to look once it's cleaned up. But there's something a bit more um, pressing to sort out first. More of a proper job, I'd say. Underneath here, we have a slight problem. No, not the head gasket. Not the head gasket? Gosh, how disappointing. Oh no, it must have a head gasket failure, surely. Hmm. No, the problem lies with the clutch, or maybe even the clutch cable. In fact, I'm hoping it's the clutch cable um, and not something else. But I don't know until I dig in, dig away in there and have a look. So I have to take the battery out and the air box and just have a look under there and see whether it needs adjusting. Um, what's going on is it's just, you've got to put your foot right the way into the floor on the clutch cable and then it's still a bit too bitey. So sometimes trying to get it into gear is just a bit awkward. <laughs> we'll find out before long, won't we now? No, get down, Wolfie. Well, the clutch cable certainly appears to have stretched somewhat. Obviously I've taken that off of there, but um, it does look a bit too long to me. So maybe it's time for good old Project Terry to come to the rescue. And as I thought, when I've driven uh, Terry around the yard before, it does seem a bit stiff on the gears and there's the explanation. This clutch cable's already been doctored. Actually, doctored is never the right word when it comes to Terry. The, the word's mutilated, isn't it? There's something quite interesting. Project Nigel has a little dent on the roof just there like that. And Project Kurt, has a similar one. Not quite the same place, but same side, same kind of dent. I always found it quite interesting how the same cars have the same kind of dents. But that's a bit of an odd dent, that one, isn't it? And the only two I've seen have both been gold. So it must be connected with being gold. It must be a, a gold Rover 25 frustration things. It looks like somebody slammed something onto the roof there. 
Anyway, back to Kurt and the clutch thing. So don't have a spare clutch cable. So rather than replace, why not fix? That's what it's all about, fixing things. Anyone can replace something. Not anyone, but you know, it's easy to... Yeah, I have an idea. I think to fix this problem, it's going to cost me approximately 10 pence. Not ordinary 10 pence, but that specific 10 pence on the bench just there. Um, I don't have any penny washers, so I'm just going to drill some holes in the Queen's face instead. I don't think it'll actually harm my chances of ever getting a knighthood, so I'm not really too worried about it. Imagine if it did though, eh? Project Nigel stood in front of the Queen while she's got her sword out. Oh, thank you, Mom. I once drilled a hole in your face. Now I know if enough people see this video, somebody will say to me, you do know it's illegal to do that to money, don't you? You're not supposed to destroy money. Yes, I know that. I also know that it's illegal to or drive over 30 or use your mobile phone while you're doing it or to not pay your TV license or any of these minor things that for some reason when you're doing it yourself, it's nothing really that bad. It's a completely victimless crime. Gosh, I really am going off on a tangent here. As it goes, I found an even cheaper solution. Some penny washers taken from next door that I didn't even pay pennies for. And there they are, fitted. Five penny washers just taking up some of that slack. So hopefully, actually I might need a couple more, but hopefully that will sort out the uh, um, problem it has. That seems to have done the trick actually. So uh, I'm just going to take it out for a quick test drive and just make sure. I accidentally didn't record my test drive, but it was good, yeah. As you can see there, it took about five seconds to clean the car. But actually it's only half clean. Down these rubbing strips here was uh, some black gunky stuff that wouldn't come off with a, the usual wash, so I had to use some citrus degreaser. And it's gone. The rear wheels are always okay on these, but the fronts obviously get covered in brake dust, which doesn't just wipe straight off. So, hydrochloric acid. That's usually the best way to remove this brake dust and they soon look like this. I haven't really washed that one off properly yet but it's uh, certainly come up a lot better so far. Much much better, much much better indeed. Much better, more presentable, nicer and better and nicer. Yes I'm happy with that. Good. Well done me. Elbow grease. You can't buy it Time for some lovely interior cleaning as well now. Make it spick and span. Now the obvious problem with an interior of this colour is it's going to uh, show dirt very, very easily. So I'm having a bit of a scrub with this uh, citrus stuff here. It does work if you've got elbow grease as well and it makes you warm, which is good. Yeah, it's going to take uh, quite a bit more cleaning up in there I think. It started to come up in the passenger foot well but then you know it's that side that gets all the feet in isn't it? Giving Dennis one last clean out that it probably didn't need. It's four o'clock. No it's quarter past four and I'm hungry. So it's probably about time I spooned some mustard onto some pork pies. And when I say some, I actually mean a spoonful of the stuff. A spoonful of English mustard on my pork pie. Proper English mustard, none of this Dijon stuff, which is more like a vaguely pungent mayonnaise. So then? Project Russell staying in here tonight. Having cleaned the carpet, I, uh, I want it to have the chance to dry out without getting rained on. Everything always looks good in here for some reason. Must be just the lighting. Uh, also, could have something to do with how long I spent cleaning it up. One or the other. 
just taken this off the windscreen of Nigel. That can only mean one thing, can't it? Actually, it could mean many things. It could mean that I've got another one. Oh, I've sold Project Nigel. But no, what it actually means is I'm going on in this tonight. Going to have its first proper drive of it. And tomorrow, I'll have a proper review of that car. I was going to do one tonight, but it was a bit dark and I kept rambling on and just tripping over myself. And I decided it was a lot of nonsense, so I'll do it properly tomorrow. Bye-bye.